Hey guys, Prangle Gaming here. Welcome back to the Mill Career Mode. It's Season 2, Episode 4. And in today's episode, we have three teams that begin with C coming up. So, we've got Cardiff in the league at home. After that, we then have an EFL Cup game against Chelsea. Obviously, a big Premier League side. Be interested to see how we do against these ones. And the final game we've got is against Cholton away from home. So, what we can do now is we can get into the team selection against Cardiff. And obviously, after that game, we might have some transfer news. As I said, we would be ending the transfer deadline today. Right, so with Chelsea coming up, I've gone with a slightly different approach. We've gone with Alexander in goal. The two centre-backs of Cooper and Hutchinson. Saborek then finds his way into the team in the left-back position. Romeo maintains his spot for now. As for Fred playing on the right, we've then got Thompson and Vilbala there. I decided to take Williams out just to keep him fresh. Warrell has then come over and switched to the left wing off the bench. And then two strikers, Nua Dicko. And then I've decided to go with Lee Gregory to see how he does when he starts. Obviously, Ambrose does play a lot, does get tired. Now, on to the bench. We have Evans, Ambrose, Williams, Wild, Nelson, O'Brien, and Archer. So there are players there that can definitely help us if we are struggling in the second half. So let's get into this game against Cardiff and see what the result will be. Got to try and win this back, and we can't. They're now on the break. If they get one ball through, it could be disastrous. And well, it is. It hits the crossbar. That is not what you want to see. And thankfully, Alexander will catch it. But danger signs were really present there. Support it. Oh, that is a great ball to find David Worrell. Worrell, put in there. Dicko. How on earth did he miss that? I really don't know. That was a golden opportunity for the striker. And well, he's just gone and wasted that chance, hasn't he? Scores on the doors at half time. Bristol City are beating Cholton. Preston are losing 2 0 to Brentford. And Wolves are losing 2 0 to Nottingham Forest. And the rest of the results, well, they're there, so you can see them right now. As for how well we've been doing, well, it hasn't been the best. I told you Cardiff were really, really good. And well, it's a big struggle because you look at those stats, you look at ours. We really haven't done anything. We've been literally out of this game. It could be a time where substitutions really will be needed, but obviously we won't know until later on in the second half. But at the moment, something drastically needs to change. Maybe I'll go on an all-out attack, but then that does expose me at the back. I'll find something out. We'll try and get forward and hopefully make a difference. Oh, and John, he's running down this wing. He might be able to get the opportunity if he gets this ball in. It could be dangerous. It is dangerous, and they've scored. Oh my word, we can't defend. And Lex Immers is the guy that heads it home. Alexander, I can't really say there's much he could have done about that, to be honest. It's just really frustrating. The defence, even the captain, struggled to deal with that. I mean, it has been coming. They've really, really dominated in this game. And I've struggled to even create one chance, which is a real big annoyance. And well, that's Immers first in the league. And well, the way this game's going, he could get a couple more. And we're going to take Vilbala off and bring Williams on. I was going to try and do it before they scored, but obviously it now has to come into case. We need him to come in because Vilbala is tired. Just a play you need, just when you need as well. Williams over to Lee Gregory. Gregory on to Nua Dicko. Dicko maybe through to Ben Thompson. If he can get the shot off, it could be a goal. He has. There we go. We're back in this game. That is a real big relief. We've really struggled and, well... To be honest, I think that it was about time we got something because we've created some chances. Not going to say they're very good, but we did create some chances. And well, obviously, Williams coming on has already created an impact as he played it to Dicko and Dicko found the space to give it to Thompson. And Thompson has gone and just put it straight in the back of the net. And that's really, really nice to see as now. We're back in this game and, well, to be honest, I thought when they scored, it really wasn't going to be a possibility to even take a point from this one. And, of course, that is Ben Thompson's first in the league. And he doesn't really score very many, so let's see how many he gets this season. We have players in this box that can make a difference. Let's get someone's head on it, and we do. But Dicko's header went straight to the keeper, and, well, that's the end of that. Well, I can only apologise for a game that really wasn't my best. We did get a point out of it. That's better than nothing. And well, on to the game against Chelsea. What fun that's going to be. But we do have more of the first-team players that are available 
in that game. So let's go get into the team selection for that one and see any transfer news if we need to. Right, and well, Josh Scowan has actually been able to have a contract offer as Barnsley accepted the 950k price we put in for him. So let's go and submit the offer and let's see how far these transfers go. And this is the team that's going to be facing up against Chelsea. We've got Jordan Archer in goal, Cooper and Hutchinson remaining as the two centre-backs. Saborit will then also remain as the left-back while Cummins comes in in the right-back position. Then into the right midfield spot. Ain't no Brian's going here for a bit of a surprise. Want to see how he is on the wing. And they've got Vilbala and Williams there as Williams comes back into the team. And David Wall will then play in the left midfield spot with Dicko and Ambrose playing up top. Obviously, Ambrose made the bench in the last one, but I decided he's better than Gregory. We had an atrocious game. Now onto the bench, we have Ferguson, Gregory Thompson, Ward, Webster, Fred, and Alexander. So let's see how we do against Chelsea. I can only hope for at least a draw going to extra time and maybe even penalties. It's sort of a mistake from our own teammates to get the chance to be created for Aiden, but we did put it in the back of the net nevertheless. And well, obviously, he's not doing bad on that right midfield area, just scoring a goal literally just then. Let's see this again. See, yeah, the big mistake, the big slip there, and then somehow it found its way to O'Brien who hit it on the half volley. It took a bit of a luck to get it off the post, but it's gone in. We're beating Chelsea. My word, who would have thought we'd beat Chelsea? Well, obviously, we've got to hold on to this. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, but this could be a sensational result. Dicko to Worrell to swing it in here. If we can get someone onto the end of the ball, we can. And we've put it into the empty net again. Another defensive mistake has led to another goal from us. And, well, I think it's O'Brien again. It is. My word, he is having a great day in front of goal. This has just been a catastrophic time for Chelsea. I mean, let's look at this again. Some sort of weird defensive thing. Flicked it back. O'Brien, open goal, bang. Ain't going to miss from there. That's his second in the EFL Cup. And I tell you what, that is something that they'd be very, very happy about. That is a very important goal. We've now got a two-goal lead against someone that big in the Premier League. This could be the reason why I think we're going to win this game. Tries to play it over the top and he does successfully. It's now a William trying to put it in here for Marcus Alonso. Alonso, can he score? He might be able to. And well, it is. It's a sweaty go. A tap in for Diego Costa, I believe. That is disgraceful. I hate conceding sweaty goals. And the computer did it just to spite me. But nevertheless, it was great that they got that sort of space. And well, to complete the game of tapping the ball in with no keeper in it as Costa found the back of the net quite easily there for him. And well, Antonio Conte's Chelsea side have a way back into this game. Let's not let this slip. And that is Costa's first in the EFL Cup. And well, it would be very nice to see if we can hold on to this, but it's a very much doubt it moment. Willian, it's gone in. I told you just a second ago, I very much doubted holding on to this. And well, they've just gone and proved me right. They have scored an equaliser. How to go from good to bad within a couple of minutes. What a great ball for Diego Costa to find Willian, who smashes it past Jordan Archer. Not really much the keeper could do at the end of it. He tried. He wasn't good enough there. And while that has, well, it's let the game slip. We had the chance to go through. A 2-0 lead is hard to mess up. But when you're Millwall, anything's possible. And well, they're back in the game. And well, there's still miles of time to go. William to strike this. Can he get it directly right? He can. And well, Archer with the save that could be very crucial in this game. Scores on the doors at half time. Well, Liverpool are beating Bournemouth. Fleetwood are losing 1 0 to Stoke. And Leicester at current time of 30 minutes are drawing 0 0 with Blackburn Rovers. And at the bottom, in the 30th minute, Wickham are drawing with Wolverhampton Wanderers. As for the rest of the results, well, they're there for you guys to see right now. But as for the stats in our game, let's take a look. Right, as for the stats in our game, we've scored from our two shots on target. So probably safe to say we've been very, very lucky. And, well, the goals clearly show that Chelsea have been better. And, well, this is a game where we're really on the back foot now. So we're going to have to try. And, obviously, all I can say is try, try, and try again and see what happens. Because that really is the only thing I say in this game. Aiden's goals were lucky. We can get ourselves back in it, though. And, obviously, tank the lead if 
we need to, but Chelsea are a side that can also do that. So this second half is set up to be a really good one. Andrew Scott pace to get in behind a very tired defence. Um, well, we've got it away. I don't think we got it away well enough as Costa has the chance. And well, thankfully, Archer can get it away. And that hopefully has been dealt with. Pitch, he really could be the difference in this game. Eden Hazard. It's now with Matic. It's been saved. Hazard Archer again. My word, this keeper has really kept that one out. Let's take a look at this again. Just about. Just about. Very, very unlucky for Hazard. But great for us. Can hit someone on the counter attack. I know he can because he's got the pace and energy to do so. Fred still going. Got to get past Jay De Silva. Still going, Fred. Going to try and cut inside here. He is still going. Lays it off for Ward. Ward. Oh, a great save by Collins. But that counter attack really helped us. We were so close to putting it in. It's now with Fabregas. Oh, that's a great interception for Cummins. And Ward will then find Cummins again. Cummins back to Ward. Ward. Oh, it's Tanua Dicko. Dicko. He slots it into the back of the net. We have a 3 2 lead against Chelsea. These sort of results are written in the stars. I can't believe it. Cummins to find Ward. Ward slotted it in a bit of space and he's gone and slotted it bottom corner. As beautiful as you like. Now, well, this is a result that has definitely had its ups and downs, but we're back to where we want to be having the lead against Chelsea Football Club. This is a huge result. We've got to keep hold of it. And obviously, that is Dicko's first in the EFL Cup. Bit of pull off for me. Aiden O'Brien over the top for Nua Dicko. He has the energy to get there, that's no doubt. He's got to get past Mikel, though, and he is still going. Nua Dicko is still going. Dicko blocked. Oh, and it's gone in their own net. They've put it in their own net. Catastrophe for Chelsea Football Club. Another big mistake. That's the third. I think it will go down as an Ivanovic own goal. I'm just guessing. Or oh, actually, it doesn't look like he touched it. Let's just have a look at this again. At first instance, it looked like Ivanovic touched it. If it didn't, it could go down as another Dicko goal. Let's have a look. I know it did come off of Ivanovic, so it may go down as own goal. But who cares? We've got a doubled lead now. This is important. Oh, and it does go down as a Dicko goal. That is great to see. Another goal for Nua Dicko. My word, if you had told me we would have played worse against Chelsea and come with a 4-2 win out of it, that would have been something that I just would have snapped your hand off for. Oh, my God, we have done it. 4-2. I don't know. I really don't know what to say. I am honestly in so much denial that we've just gone and we've smashed Chelsea in a certain extent. 4-2. Are you kidding me? Anyway, what's the best thing to do here if I can't really say anything? Well, I'm just going to say this. Just get into the team selection against Sheldon. Obviously, see if there's any transfers. We are still in the transfer window after all. Right, Scowan has denied it for the four years. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with a three year and obviously with the same money and see what he says. Obviously, it isn't too much of an importance to sign him. But if we can, then it just adds to the team that we've already got that's really strong. Right, so Scowan has accepted that. That's a worthwhile thing to do, actually. I think get him in, see what he's like. Obviously, they've got him for less than his value is, which is always a good thing to do. Now, someone said to sign a Rebi. Let me see how much he's worth. I don't know whether I want to so much, but he has a decent potential and is very fast and very good to have around him. Well, Chietri is leaving at the end of the season, so really, it wouldn't be the worst thing to do because then we could have Fred as a striker. So let's just go have a look. Right, for a Rebi, they put 2.2. Okay, well, I'm going to try a million straight up and see what happens. Just because it would be a worthwhile player to have around. Obviously, it would be an increase in the plans we already have. It might mean Wall has to go, but we're working around then. Maybe loan out Evans in January. We'll see how it goes. A Rebi could be a good investment, though. So let's just see how it goes. Right, just to give you a little bit of an update on the Europa League situation. We are actually in it. It is now 100% confirmed. We've got Stade Renais, SC Braga, and Standard Liège. So a French side, a Portuguese side, and a Belgium side. Not too bad. There's a lot worse teams than you could get in the Europa League. I'm just to quickly take you to the calendar so we can have a look at how our games are going to pan out at the moment. Right, so in September, we have got a game against Braga and Stade Renais. And then that pans out to Standard Liège in October. And then, obviously, we have two games in November against... 
those two and then Liege against again in December so really the group stages will be ending by December these are just games that we've got to play in the background and try and obviously get our best out of it so we've also got Watford in the EFL Cup just keep you updated with that one as well so let's get into team selection against Cholton and here we go I've decided to change it up for this game with Archer in goal of course as always Webster's then come in with Hutchinson because I just want to have different players in trying to fight for this game. Joe Martin's in the left back position as is Romeo in the right back position. Aino O'Brien continues to impress me so he's staying in the right midfield spot. Scow on the new sign has come in in the centre of midfield for Williams who is on the bench. Phil Barler's then also partnering him. Warrell on the left mid and two strikers Dicko and Gregory. Gregory's only coming in here because he's played in other derby games against Charlton before. So, on to the substitute bench. We have Ferguson, Ambrose, William, Ward, Cooper, Fred and Alexander. These players could help us from the bench, but obviously all we can do is get into this game and see how we do. Do Aiden O'Brien. O'Brien trying to play it over the top for Nua Dicko. Dicko controls it down. Can he score? He can. He makes it easy. Nua Dicko, obviously, the guy that loves scoring the goals. He's scoring quite a few recently, and well... I'm not going to say I ever regretted buying him because he's fast, so he breaks on the counter-attack and obviously he's got a very good finish in him when he wants to. And he's really making the difference this season. He's really helping us with the goals he is getting. And well, we have the lead in this huge derby game. I cannot believe this could be the result. Against Cholden, a side that obviously always like battling us, but that's Dicko second in the championship. But he is making headways in a Millwall shirt. Base, but somehow kept the ball. It's now with Vilbala. Vilbala. Oh, that's Tanua Dicko. Dicko straight at Walters. Fast fluid football. Maybe could create a chance, and we do. Aiden O'Brien has got a lot of space on this wing that really could be taken as an advantage to us. Let's put it in there. We do. Oh, and it's gone in. I believe that is Nua Dicko. It could be 2-0 thanks to this guy, and it is Nua Dicko, the guy that puts it in. Pretty nice, tidy finish by him. Not going to deny that it's a very sweaty though. Tried to sweat it across to see if we could put it in. and Well, it actually comes off the defender. So that is very unlucky by them. But at the end of the day, who cares how it goes in? Two goals in a derby game is much needed. And obviously after the Chelsea game, you know, we can throw away two goal leads. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. It is another newer Dicko goal. That's his third now. He is on fire at the moment. Scores on the doors at half time. Brentford are losing 2 1 to Wolverhampton Wanderers. It's which are drawing 1 0 with Sheffield United. And well, Rotherham are beating Derby County 1 0. As for the rest of the results, well, they're there so you can see them yourselves. Now, moving on into our stats. And well, we haven't really had too much to worry about from Cholton's end, have we? And the stats quite clearly suggest that we've been a very dominant side, really. Dicko on the break has destroyed them. He really has. And, well, that's very helpful for me. So, all I could say, second half, we're doing really well. It's going to be hard to throw it away as we have been dominating. But, obviously, anything can change. Really, I don't even think we need to make subs to guarantee a status of a win. But, we could make some to bring on some fresh legs. I've been really liking Scowan. Gregory, though, not so much. He's been struggling. Romeo's now got to deal with Celebos, and he doesn't. There's pretty actual ease here. They put it in, and well, oh my word. I was about to say, and well, nothing comes of it. And well, nothing did come of it, but he almost did. Well, look at this again. Just put it in, and they should have scored from that volley over the bar. This sums up Cholton's game. Play some fast-flowing football to see if they can catch me out. And well, they quite clearly can't, as Dicko could have the opportunity to be played through. Oh, and he has actually scored. I can't believe it. That is such a lucky goal. I thought I'll go for it just in case. I always do it with the keeper. And that's Dicko's hat trick. I, j I don't know what to say. We need to look at this again. See how far it looks. Gregory plays it forward. He plays it back to his keeper. And I think, you know what? We're tackling. And before he gets his shot off, Dicko slides it into the back of the net. My word. You can't just be any luckier than that. It wasn't a foul on the keeper as he kicked the ball before the keeper even kicked the ball himself. And well, 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 I just don't know what to say. That is very, very fantastic. I'm just sitting here almost laughing. That's Dicko's fourth goal. He has got a hat trick in this game. He has become a hero. And there you go. Nua Dicko is collecting the match ball. Five shots, three goals. He was outstanding in this game and he deserves it. He has been by far my best player in this episode. 
And as I said, a newer Dicko hat-trick wins us this game against Cholton. That's really all you need to say, apart from the third goal was very comical and probably shouldn't have counted. But it is what it is. Let's go see where we are in the league. Obviously, we did draw against Cardiff earlier in the episode, but we're beating Cholton 3-0, so that should help us in our actual bid to see ourselves higher in this league table. So let's have a look quickly. Well, before we look at the league table, they have not accepted the deal for Aribi. It's actually worth 1.5, so if I just put in 1.7 and a half and see where that one takes me, then maybe that might be worthwhile. But chances are I will have to put in around about the same money as they inquired for me to say and put in. So let's just put this in and see where it takes us. Right, and they actually accepted that offer. Well, I'm really surprised. I didn't expect them to actually accept it. So this could be another signing coming in on really around the end of the transfer deadline so this would be interesting this would mean that Evans would have to go if he accepts it actually I don't think we have enough money so I might have to jiggle it around quickly but we will offer him this deal and see how it goes there we go as quick as that a long-standing target Jabali Arebi I did say last year I would sign him or I mean in the last season that I would actually sign him and well I've gone ahead I've upheld my promise with that and I will bring him in he is a worthwhile sign. And this does mean that Evans will probably leave on loan for probably at least one or two years, I imagine. Into transfer deadline day. And while Chris Twaddock's loan deal is the first one that I'm probably going to go ahead and accept, to be honest. It does make sense. We've got Cox in there as a third backup. And well, I like Twaddock. The two-year loan would suit him to get some playing time. I, I do like him, but I think it'd be fair to loan him out. So let's just go ahead and let him leave on a two-year loan to Shrewsbury. Right, we've got an offer for Sean Williams. Ah, to be honest, I think that's a pretty suitable offer. It's a shame because Williams obviously is a very good player, a very good player that's been at our club for a long time. So it's a shame to see him go. But in terms of development, you really do have to see him go to let someone with higher potential come in. So I'm going to accept it and just say I apologise, but Williams will have to leave with this one. And there you go, there's confirmation that Williams has left the club. It's a shame, but it had to be done if Scalm was to, was to get football playing time at this club. Right, so we're third in the league. 11 points, two off of Crystal Palace and Rotherham. And obviously we are still unbeaten, which is a very, very good. Us and Wigan, I believe. And also Nottingham Forest. I don't believe there's anyone else. No, we're the only three sides that are unbeaten currently and after playing five league games, which says a little bit bad stuff about the championship. But anyway, that's the league table. We're not doing too bad. We're doing a lot better than I thought we would do. And I expected us to be down there. But Sheffield United, Ipswich and even Cholton, who have picked up nothing, are at the bottom of the relegation zone. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this Mill Critic Mode episode. It's been a very, very good episode. We smashed Chelsea and Sheldon, two very good sides that I really like to beat. So like, comment, subscribe, and of course, I will see you guys next time in the next Mill Critic Mode. But until then, goodbye.